Hello, hello! Welcome back to another uh, Celeste Vince speedrun tutorial. Today we'll be doing Golden Rich, Chapter 4. Uh, this is one of my favorite levels. It has a interest, and for the Vince speedrun, it has an interesting mix of open typography and closed typography. Where open typography is where there's walls and whether or not there's spikes attached to the walls, we don't really care, but um, the fact that there's walls means we have to uh, play around that, whereas open typography is relatively open spaces with a few uh, blocks and pieces between. So, let's get started. Um, we're using Invince Ability Assist Mode, nothing else. So right off the bat, you're going to want to do this as you normally would. I did pretty poorly there, but that's the general gist of it. Try to do that as quickly as possible with corn boosts. Um, yeah, there's no real reason to use invincibility, or use of invincibility here. I am messing this up. Apologies. Uh, here you want to do a Okay, there's two ways to do this. One, the faster way is to do it normally, like so. Alternatively, I believe doing some or er, cute wall bounces. This is yeah, that route is possible. So if you miss that bounce, you could do that. Although I believe the First is faster and easier to do, so do the first. Here, uh, dash through the water, it restores your dash every time you're in water. Water is good. Here, here's um, the first major skip of the run. We're going to jump up here and then hyper off there. Yeah. Uh, here we want to do void bounces to avoid breaking the pillars because if we break the pillars we get knocked back. Not really the best thing that we want, or the thing we want. Here we want to get up here. Sorry. Here we want to hyper off that and then get up to here. Hyper off that and corner boost off here. Uh, this is normal, um, although you can feel free to take riskier strats with invincibility, but if you're doing this competitively, here's pretty normal, although you can use the tops of these spikes to restore your stamina if you ever need to do that. Here we go up here, up across, restore our dash, down, um, yeah. Uh, we can, we use the fact that we can just dash right through these to oh, an abusive extent, or well, uh, pretty, we abuse that fact for more speed. Here, just do it normally, although, yeah, here again normally, um, you, uh, you, because of the wind, you can just, you could crawl up really fast, although you could also hop up like I did. Um, if you lose stamina, you don't really need to, or you don't really need to worry about stamina. You did not need to activate that, because we do not use this auto-scroller block. Climb up here, and like so, although you would probably want to use Yeah, you could use the auto scroller block to get up there faster, but yeah, add in a couple of wall bounces for speed. Here, wall bounce off that, easy. Um, so at this point, dash like that, or because you will usually be in the air after that, you'll dash dash onto the pillar, restore dash up here, 
crawl up this and yeah. I'm using slow crawl just to illustrate the point. Um, yeah. This is a relatively technical section. So you could do relatively normal or you could crawl up like this and such. Yeah, there's multiple ways of doing this. Yeah. Um, is this, no, this isn't the one yet. Uh, this one is also possible to do. You uh, need to void bounce and then hop up. Sorry. I um, and then dash up, and then you can wall bounce if you're out of stamina by that point. Here, you want to hyper onto the here, and then void bound. Uh, we need to have our dash restored by this point. Um, so it is sometimes worth doing the normal route and taking the long way around just in order to have your dash. Um, yeah. Alternatively, you can crawl up here and do that, which is probably the fastest. And I hope, yeah. Uh, here, yet again, we're going to use the wind to get over here and, yeah, with some void bounces. Here, dash, or do some void bounces, and then basically crawl up the left side of this, of uh, this platform, which store our jump. Yeah, and if we need to, we can get our jump back up here as well. Uh... Use this to get up here and then up here. Um, here's one of my favorite tricks in normal Celeste speedrunning. Uh, we're going to do a wave dash to get our dash back and then up here. Yeah. Um, yeah. Alternatively, can dash up, not lose our jump there. Uh, and then, yeah. yeah. Uh, this part's relatively easy. We don't want to do that. Um, but... Um, basically we want to... Get up onto the platform and then... Or this platform and then climb up the wall. This part's fun. So normally we need an auto scroller where we'd um, go to the end of the level and then, yeah. Here, hyper dash. Sorry. Or dash, hyper dash onto that platform, then onto here, then up here, or down there, either way. Now, grab that, go onto here, and then up there. It might be, or I believe it was, or I figured out it was possible to get up to, or to get the, onto the block before it moves by keeping a dash, but it's quite a bit harder. Also, don't dash into that little alcove there, that is. That is going to cost you some time. Onto, or basically hyper dash onto the top, or climb up to the top of the platform and then um, hyper dash off of it to get up to here. Um, skipping this little alcove, which we do not want to be in. Yeah. Uh, this level is, or this screen is one of my least favorites, um, 
in this level. Uh, just because it's slippery, we want to do this relatively normally, although we can get our dash back up here and up here, and then we are on to the final part. The music picks up, the wind picks up, and we are soon going to be introduced to our newest ally. Uh, this part is a bit tricky. Basically, we want to dash under the, or door skip under the block. Um, it is possible, I believe, to avoid triggering it. Sorry, I'm not great at that. Um, yeah. Uh, But essentially in that case we just hyper off that instead of dash underneath the block. Uh, here's where we're introduced to our new friend. Uh, yeah. So now things get cycle phase. And, but the snowballs are mainly used to recover health. Uh, the, I usually use them more as uh, uh, what's it called? A timely assist rather than something I've been aiming for. Um, yeah, I'm going to try to go through these levels uh, and not mess up that part. Uh, relatively close. Just to give you an idea, if you want to get up here at the last bit, um, to do some papers off of the uh, wall, and then climb up here. And yeah. Um, I'm not sure if we can make it up to the top of this without this spring, unfortunately. Uh, here, we want to just make our way across. Um, yeah, here we can void bounce into that bubble, then get to the end. Like so. And then skip the whole nasty bit of going up around there. Uh, here, just do the street normally, although you can set your dash and that alcove down on the right side. And then here, get some uh, hybrids or wave dashes to and void bounces. And climb up there and we are done. Or we could also sorry. or get a wave dash off of that platform if you weren't messing things up like I was. Definitely not my best attempts at most of these screens, but it's, yeah. Sorry I'm a little out of it for this um, showing. Onto Golden Feather. This first screen we want to uh, we want to get a corner boost off that, and then death. So I'm just going to corner boost off that, and then dash up to the top, and then hyper up. Wow, oh, none of that worked. Sorry about that. Like that. Uh, here, there's new speed strats. I 
or don't get them consistently. So we basically want to do some uh, wave dashes off of these platforms instead of board bounces, but either way works. Here we go up here, jump and then dash to wave the buff. Don't uh, wave hyper dash because you will miss the buff and then dash under the second block to avoid breaking it and bring that time loss. Auto scroller time. Uh, so basically, we can it, or we can make it to the end of this without a lot or the main block. Um, the main thing is a lot of hyper dashing through that on the bottom. So I'm just going to let this go up ahead and then. Um, Yeah, basically something like that is probably the fastest route, but done properly. Unfortunately, this auto scroller, I don't believe you can skip. On the plus side, it's really short. Um, here, you want to dash on these. Um, and basically do the level normally. So it's... Yeah. Uh, here you want to basically climb up there using the wind against the platform to get up there faster. Or to ignore stamina. And then... I don't believe... Yeah, you can't... Oh, sorry. You can't make... Or you can't void bounce dash into that bubble. You have to get on this platform, which is harder from that side. And then I'm up here. Another auto scroller. And yeah, you can do that entirely on your own. Uh, do uh, without me. To trigger the platform. It's probably roughly the same length of time. Um, yeah. Neither, it's not that quick of a squeak, but even if it's not easy to wait for the technically wait for the platform, that one you want to basically, or the last one you want to dash through the crystal in the middle because you get to ignore it, which will also or trigger the middle door bell after going to the left side, then go for the one on the far left, which will trigger the door, the bubble will respawn, and then, yeah. I basically did that one as best as possible. This one... Uh, you want... you can recharge your dash there and then do that if you want to do it pretty quick. Or, it's probably the fastest way, either through a hyper dash off that, um, platform, as so, or if you miss the hyper dash, and you can land on one of the blocks and climb up, hyper off that, hyper off that, and we are on to the next screen. Hyper, or basically void bounce on the bottom there, climb up here, and then reset your bounce here. Uh, and then basically dash to the end. Here we want to pick up one of those platforms. Um, we should have been on this one, and then hyper to the end. Here we want to hyper, hyper, climb up, and then we want it to hyper there. But that basically gets you to the end very quickly. 
Hey, another Amorata scroller. Guess what? We can do this one all on our own, and it is a bit faster than the other one. About fast stuff we're not on a scroller. Which, thankfully, because this one is pretty, or well, I found it difficult to do regular runs. Um, but yeah. Um, I'll show it off again. Uh, that was good movement. Get on the cloud. Get on here. Climb up here until exhausted. Dash up. Reset. Or go over here. Up here. Ignore that second cloud. Reset. Uh, dash on here. Reset. Dash on here. And dash up and then here. Dash. Dash. Don't miss that bubble. I think dashing upward is probably the best. And then dash. Fun fact, the floor vanishes halfway through here. So you could get a hyper and then avoid bounce. There's another option, I'm not sure which is faster. Um, basically just use hyper dashes to get through that fast, like I did, and then, sorry, uh, here we want to basically, uh, sorry, we want to hyper, get onto here, Sorry about that. Sorry, I'm not doing, uh, or not at my desk for this uh, run. Basically, and this is a pretty technical screen. Like, it's also technically easy, but if you want to do it fast, uh, there is a lot of corner boosting in this screen. Um, so, basically you want to corner boost, you're going to have to do a boy bounce there, get your jump back off the top of this platform like we did, um, do just making it. Um, or like landing on it for a second, then hyper off those two platforms, and then climb up here, down, and then here. Dash through all these bubbles, climb up on top, and... Sorry. Huh. That's odd. Don't think I've had the wind stop at a lower latitude for this screen. But yeah. Basically, get up onto here while there's wind, and you should be good to get up to here. Here, hyper dash, get some speed, boy bounce, use, or go over there, and then land on this side there. You finish dash, dash into the bubble, and then down here. Up, climb up that, onto here, and then, yeah, just do some hyper dashes and void bounces in the end. Uh, yeah, here is a lot of void bounces from my, or my strat, and then, uh, I generally try to do a wall, not a wall jump, but a bounce, like where you input the opposite direction to get a little more height before going into the part, because you can miss the heart uh, if you don't. Uh, which costs you some time. Overall, B side is a pretty tricky, but overall, fun. Um, 
Yeah. These are here. We're going to want to do a lot of corner boosts. Uh, yeah. Four guns here, and then I'm on here, and then on to the next screen. Unfortunately, this is an auto score we can't skip or get ahead on. So, yeah. I mean, we do get to the advantage of getting through it a little quicker at the end through getting through that spike wall, but. Yeah. Uh, climb up here and get some corner boost. Recharge jump here. It might be faster to get onto these platforms, but it's much easier just to go to the end there. And that is basically chapter four in a nutshell. Um, yeah. I feel that I did pretty well with the seaside, or showing up the seaside at relatively full speed, so I'm gonna sh try to show off B side at full speed instead. Uh, don't mess up that like I do. Yeah, I just love the music from, uh, or for this level on both A and B side. Not on the C side, though. That's way too short. Alright, that's the one that I need to get onto. Sorry. Sorry about that. Yeah. That a little bit is a bit finicky. Uh, using the auto scroller just reduces the chances of you making a slight mistake and needing to redo that level or that screen. Yeah. You can alternatively use that wall to get up. Don't hit the corner like I did there. Hold on, stop there. Void bounce off the first bit and then get on the third platform and then. Her. Don't mess up like I did there. And that is what a good run of this screen looks like. Um, yeah. Get up here. Second on my screen. I'm up here. Don't do that. Uh, 
Poitain, Poitain, Poitain. And that is, wow, a gold split. So that is how you do uh, Golden Feather in a nutshell. Uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, I will show you um, my best for my records, including the new best time. Uh, um, what is it? 3.25? So, just under 5 minutes for uh, A-side, uh, 3.25 for B-side, and I still haven't gotten it down to sub-30 seconds on C-side. Um, yeah, the next video is going to be um, Mirror Temple, which... Eh, I really like the C-side for. Not as keen on the A or B side. They're just a little too long. Uh, see you then. Thank you for watching.